The topic for today is the get down. I finished this series last week and I've been pondering, pondering, and I have to say that I am really invested in this show. I'm gonna not get too detail heavy for you guys, um, just in case you wanna watch it, so no spoiler alerts here. I might say a character's name, but hey get over that one let's talk production design because like it worked and I know like it's a period piece so it's like really hard to like recreate some things but like the graphics weren't even that bad costumes were pretty like spot on I have to say and I hope my dad doesn't feel no type of way about this but Cadillac literally looks like my dad did in the 70s I was like oh Daddy. Anyway, I feel like they decided to blend so many styles together and have so many storylines because, because one, they're documenting a change in pop culture, documenting disco, moving into early hip hop. Like, and I felt like they embraced, even though I've never been to New York, I don't know nothing about New York, I do feel like they embraced New York in the 70s really well. I've heard some people say that it didn't really feel or look like New York, but if you're a millennial, what do you know about New York in the 1970s? Okay, next let's talk about the cast. Let me just say, first off, that Shameek Moore did his thing. If you don't know who he is, he is the guy from Dope. If you haven't seen Dope, ask yourself why. Um, I actually think we went to the same elementary school, I think. I think he did a fantastic job being Shaolin Fantastic. Like, he brought that character to life, he embodied it. You could tell he was like committed to it and it just read, like it came clear across. My favorite character I think right now is Ezekiel. Um, they call him Zeke, mainly because he's kind of like an introvert, you know what I'm saying? He's like one of those introverted creatives and this experience in his life is like bringing out him out more. And I think I appreciate that one because he relates to me in a way. So um, this is kind of like my journey with this YouTube channel. So anyway, personal moment. Overall, I think they casted everybody well, like Jaden Smith's character, good job. Whoever the casting director was, you did good. Uh, moving on to the storyline now. Let me tell you about this storyline. People are having issues because it's just a dense, body of work. There are multiple storylines going all at the same time, but I feel like that was intentional because it really made me get into it. Like, okay, so how are these two connected? Like, it was almost like a brain game. And this is not to be rude or throw shade or anything, but if you're a real TV show buff, you really don't mind trying to put pieces together. Like, what is the big deal with that? It wasn't to the point where storylines didn't connect back to each other, but if you think about it in real life, that's kind of how it is. Even though we don't see how things piece together all the time, I feel like the viewer's eye was an omniscient one, if you will. I liked it. I had fun. And that's just my personal preference. I like putting pieces together because I'll be the one to predict the whole storyline. And with this, I was wrong a few times and I really appreciated that. Anyway, so overall, I'm not, I don't know if I should do star ratings. Like, I don't know. We'll see how many TV shows or movies I decide to review. But I urge you just to give it a watch. It's only six episodes. They're like 51 minutes long. You know, just get it in. Watch it. See if you like it. You probably will. If you just like to watch black shows, go ahead, turn it on. Ask your friend to make you a profile on their Netflix account so you can watch. If not, just pay $8 and just watch it. If anything, bottom line, all criticism aside, it's worth a watch, period. Um, yeah. See you tomorrow.